You were... Yes, my name is Elena Langford, and I'm here representing Ash Street Tenants Association. We're a small but mighty apartment complex on Southeast 119th and Ash Street, where all eight of the month-to-month -month tenants have been offered a choice between signing a lease with a $375 rent increase or no cause eviction. We are single mothers working two jobs, immigrants and refugees, people of color. We take the bus. Our children are in neighborhood schools. Some are disabled, and we're struggling to meet ends meet. We already live where people were told to go that can't afford rent in Portland. Our choice between a $375 rent increase or a no-cause eviction is an eviction from Portland. It's a notice of homelessness. I'm here today to urge you and extend the declaration and ordinance of the City of Portland's State of Emergency on Housing and Homelessness. But I ask you not only to focus on the people, on getting people who are in tents or on the street into shelters, and even those in shelters, hotels and couches into housing, but also to consider doing something radical. Acknowledge and act on preventing the homelessness in the first place. Before moving into this apartment three years ago, I was already homeless. I lived in a hotel. I lived on a couch of a family member from a no-cause eviction. I'm already barely making ends meet, already paying $825 a month in rent for a no-amenities apartment where we experience poverty every day right outside my front door. Now I've been given a choice to pay $1,200 a month or move. I can't afford to stay. I can't afford to move. I can't afford to remove my son from Head Start that's fully funded that's just blocks from my house. I can't afford to be further from transportation that my family is dependent with. And all eight of the families that occupy this building that got this notice are in the same boat. And the truth is on July 19th, the day we received the notice is the day we became homeless. We're not alone and this is not an anomaly. You're hearing this all day today. This is happening every day all over the city and we have no place to go. For people in the city, this rent increase in this magnitude or a no-cause eviction is just a notice of homelessness. And you know that we can't afford, that there isn't enough affordable housing for us. You know that we can't wait for affordable housing in the pipeline to be built. You know that the application and screening barriers are too high for people like us to find anything. And 90 days is just 90 days worth of trauma and worry. That at the end, we still have no place to live. Okay, thank you, Ms. Langford. Just a minute. I have a question. Go ahead. What's the name of the company or landlord that has given you these notices? The, so the um, management company is a and Management, and they actually blame us. They say that, that Portland is a victim of its own success, and they blame you guys for not building affordable housing fast enough. You know, it's just for a landlord, the prospect of kicking us out, kicking out a low income, below market renter is just too lucrative. The money is there and they want it. This isn't, you know, this isn't, we're not people to them. This isn't our homes to them. This is just money to them. We're their ATM. And, and really, commissioners, you are my family and my community and my neighbors only hope. You, because the landlord and the owner, which I've made personal and public attempts to negotiate to keep us housed, they will not respond. They will not sit down with us. They will not talk to us. And I really believe that you must utilize your power during the housing state of emergency and you must protect the vulnerable people from becoming homeless. That we need housing for homeless people, but we also need to keep the people that are already in houses and in homes, we need to keep them housed. We need to keep Portland housed. Okay. Thank you. And this Thank is you a man-made disaster. Thank you, this, is, this is a man-made disaster. And if you extend the state of emergency, you need to put a stop to no-cause evictions, and you need to put a rent freeze. Because this is the only thing that will keep eight of these families in this house. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lightburn.